Well, hey everybody, uh, welcome to lesson number three in our series in lap steel licks in the tuning of open G. Um, for this lesson, we're going to do more of a country thing. I know for the previous uh, lessons, we've been doing a lot of blues and rock and roll. So I thought for this lesson, uh, we'll do a simple country lick that incorporates some three finger string combinations as well as a forward bar slant. Uh, so you'll dig this. This is kind of cool, super easy for the beginner. Um, we are tuned to open G, and in this lesson we're going to use the uh, standard open G, which is G, B, D, G, B, D. And as I said in the last lesson, this lap steel can take this. Um, if you have a lap steel that seems a little bit weak in the bridge, you may not want to crank this low string up to G unless you've got a light gauge string on it. So in any case, uh, for this lesson, GBD, GBD, stand by, and we'll start tearing this lick apart. So let's tear this riff down. Uh, the riff will be in three simple parts. I'm going to play the whole riff for you first, as I did right off in the beginning of the lesson. <laughs> Okay, so a very country style lick, easy to play. Let's break down the first part of it. Um, so we're going to start with the slide uh, on the 11th fret, excuse me, on the 13th fret on the B string. So we're way up here. And of course, because we're at the 12th fret, we're going to work the first part of it on the 12th fret. Uh, that's the octave of the low open G, obviously. Okay, so let's just slowly do the first part. <laughs> Sorry, 13th fret. So we're basically just going to slide down with the, we're going to use our, our second finger for this part of it. We'll just pluck the second string of the 13th fret and slide it down to the 12th, like this. Okay, just simple. And then we're going to take our index finger and thumb to finish the lick. Uh, on the 12th fret 3rd string and 12th fret 4th string. So like this. Okay, so very simple. And then we're going to take a 3 string combination of the 4th, the 3rd and 2nd string, which is that natural G combination. We're just going to slide that down to the 10th fret. So it's going to be just sort of a quick slide into the 12th, to the 10th, and then all the way down to the 5th fret. Same string combination. <laughs> Sorry, 5th fret. So just a quick slide in from the 4th fret to the 5th fret. Okay, so let's do the whole thing very slowly. And then one more time. Let's clean that up. And as always, just try to finish with just a little bit of vibrato, just a touch. Okay, we'll move on to the second part here shortly. Now, the second part of the riff, uh, we're already in place at the fifth fret, so we're going to slide the string combination down to the fifth, fourth, and third string. Okay, so just that, again, a natural combination. We're just going to slide into it gently to the fifth fret from the fourth. Now, for this particular uh, part of the riff, to start it, we're only going to actually use the thumb and second finger. So we're only using two strings on that. Even though you could, you could go, you could add that third string if you want, if you're, if you're feeling uh, brave enough to get all three strings in there. Okay, so it's going to be just a thumb, uh, second finger uh, pluck. 
Okay. So just sort of, and then we'll utilize a three string combination to the sixth fret, and then slide to the seventh fret. Okay. Now here's the trickiest part of the lesson, and I certainly don't expect you to nail this right off the bat. Over these uh, uh, past few lessons, I've always talked about having to use the ear because we, you know, we have a visual with the frets, but we really want to use our ear. This is where this comes in handy. So we're going to start the bar, the forward slant. It's going to go up one fret. So basically, you're going to have the bottom part of the slide on the eighth fret, second string. And then you're just going to have the other part, the, the top part of the slide, touching the third string at the ninth fret. So it's a weird, you can hear it, okay? Now that's going to be kind of tricky to get to right off the bat. So it's going to be... And then you just slide it up two frets each time. Uh, excuse me, one fret each time for a total of two. Okay, let's do it slowly. And then some vibrato. But what you're looking for here is ear because you can't really visualize it. You can get close with the visual, but you gotta have the ear for it. If you, if you come up a little bit shy, like, I'll show you what happens. <laughs> See, if you're, you hear there, there's some cool tones in there, but you kind of have to nail it right on, okay? So let's take the lick from there so far. A little bit of vibrato. So let's do it one more time, nice and slow. Excuse me. I'm just a little bit out of pitch there, as you can tell. Um, so you're going to have to practice this. I don't nail it every time. Um, it just depends on a perfect night with a perfect amp tone. Mostly I get it. Now we just finish this with, uh, with we slide back into uh, straight across the fret on the 12th fret. So I'll show you. And then we just pluck those two. Excuse me, just the two. And then we bring that into the G. So we're just going to bring the bottom part of the bar um, from here. So ba basically at the, the 10th and 11th fret. And just bring it into the 12th fret, bring it to pitch, finish with vibrato. Okay? like a pedal steel lick really uh, but that really is the most difficult part of this lesson so practice that I'll give it to you one more time and of course we're gonna have the jam track it's gonna be up to speed <laughs> but it's got some rhythm that you can work to with it and and we'll uh, really see how this lick falls into place then so one more quick time <laughs> Okay, now I inadvertently plucked that fourth string, uh, which I shouldn't have, but uh, you know, just a bad habit that I have. So that's the lick, uh, and then the, the very last part of this lick is super simple. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll get right at it. So the last part of this riff is the easiest and most simple part, other than a quick little timing thing. But essentially I'll just play you the lick real quick. <laughs> It's a dead stop there. So basically, we're just going, we're just using our first and uh, second finger on the second and first string, respectively. So, right? And then we just slide that sharply and quickly down to the 10th the fret. And then we quickly, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, 
third string and second string on the 11th fret slide back up to the 12. Right? So. Just do that one more time slowly. And then we end it with our standard three string combination, only we're going to use the fourth, third, and second string. Okay? So it's basically just an open G chord with a couple little slides in it. And one more. Now, the reason we have to stop that dead um, is we have to get set up to repeat the lick again. So I'll show you what I mean. See, so we need to be right there uh, to go around for the next lick. The timing's a bit goofy because we're actually coming in on the four, but we start the lick solo before the band starts in. You'll see what I mean when we get to the jam track. Okay, so let's just review the third part quickly, and then we'll do the whole lick once, and then we'll get straight into the jam track portion of the lesson. Okay, so first and second finger, second and first string. Slide quickly down to the 10th, and then come to the 11th with the second finger on the second string, the first finger on the third string, a quick slide up, and then end it with a three string combination on the fifth, fourth, and third string. All right, so I'll play the whole lick slowly once for you, uh, then you'll be all set up for the jam track. Okay, we'll see you on the other side of the jam track. Now, you'll notice that I mixed it up a little bit in that jam track, just with the intro lick. You can play this any way you want. 
Sorry, I got to turn the guitar back on. But you can play it any way you want. You know, it can be a... Uh, or or uh, slower. You'll find your groove, uh, whichever way you like to do it. It's uh, There's multiple ways you can do that. In any case, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, stay tuned. There'll be lots more to come. And if you're really, really, really enjoying these lessons, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. In the meantime, I'll see you soon. Thank you.